Voter suppression is a way to quiet our voices. Voter suppression is not the way that this country is supposedly built. And voter suppression is a way to continue, unfortunately, the empowered patriarchy to continue to oppress women. My name is Elda Antonieta Etienne. I am a Caribbean, Latina, Lesbiana, Luchadora in this fight. I, I definitely think it's an issue, uh, mostly getting the elderly to the, po to the polls and people of color. ID laws and things like that keep people back from voting. So I know that folks are just conducting a lot of meetings in homes. So we're sort of going door to door, trying to hold meetings to talk about how important it is for people to get out the vote this year especially. Primarily when we look at voter suppression throughout the city, um, and we look at the engagement of voters and whether, whether or not our elected officials are being held accountable to getting folks um, to come out and actually vote for them and having a just dem democratic process. I think there's really a lot of limitation based off of either language barriers or individuals afraid of the immigration status. People are nervous now. Even if you, you aren't undocumented, you fear um, having to tell the government your information for repercussions. My organization name is Recovery Girls Rock. We are a community development corporation. Asking women that come to my organization, I, that I ask them if they are registered and if they are not registered, we take them through the process to get registered to vote. I really think that a huge part of like voting and whatnot, like we need to make these processes easier for people. We need to make it a lot more accessible. Um, on campus, I helped out with some voter registration. We literally yelled at every student that passed by to come get registered. I was gonna say, I'm from Arizona, so it matters a lot. 51% of the population is women, so we should be taking a majority of the votes. We should be making our voices heard.